So hello again everyone. So I hope you are all guys having a good day. So for today's lesson, I'll be discussing as much topics as I can in analytic geometry. So this is the first video. Of course, this will be a series video. So I hope that you can able to uh, watch uh, every video for this one. So I hope you guys like it. Okay, so we have the first topic which is the most basic formula for analytic geometry. It is the distance between two points in plane 2D. So this is also known as the um, distance formula. So for analytic geometry, first of all, it deals with the properties and equations of the locus of a point. So locus, the graph or curve traced by a moving point. Okay, so... So we have a distance between two points in a plane. So as you can see, let's say that this is the first point and this is the second point. So we have P1 and P2. So let's say those are, the P1 have a point X1, X1, Y1 and the P2 has a point X2, Y2. So using this graph, uh, not graph, actually the uh, Cartesian plane. So this one will be your Y1 and of course, this will be your Y2. Okay, that is that distance. And then this is x1 and then this is x2. And applying those, you'll get, so if this is x2 and then this is x1. To get this one, all you have to do is just subtract x2 to x1 and save with this one. And then you will be able to form a triangle. So that is a right triangle, right? So if that is a right triangle, therefore you can apply the Pythagorean theorem. So by Pythagor Pythagorean theorem, will be able to get the uh, formula square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. You can also interchange those as long as you are consistent uh, with the signs and the subscript. So it can also be x1 minus x2 squared. Therefore, it plus y2 minus uh, y1 minus y2 is squared. Okay? So if you write first the x2, so this must be x2. If you write first the x1, therefore the second one will be x1 also okay so dealing with um, in 3d if it, if it is in 3d so this is in 2d all you have to do is just the same just add the third uh, coordinate of which is z so it will become uh, z2 my z1 squared. that's it okay so without further ado let's move on to the sample problems so we got the sample pl sample problem Try to answer this one. So find the distance between points 3, 2 and negative 2 minus 6. Okay. So what we can do is to find D. So all you have to do is just uh, follow this formula. Okay? Following that formula. So you'll have uh, D is equal to the D equal to square root of x2 minus x1. Okay. So therefore, here your let me just write down the givens first. Okay. So x2 is equal to negative 2 and then uh, y2 is equal to y2 equal to negative 6. Okay. And then x1 will be 3 and then y1 will be so, you just apply the formula. Therefore, you can have here um, x2 minus x1, right? So, that will be minus 2 minus 3 squared plus now um, y2, which is negative 6, minus y1 and 2 squared. Okay? Therefore, this will become square root of, this is negative 5, so 5 squared plus 8 squared. So, 64 plus 25, right? So, the answer for that is a 9.43. 9 9.43. Let's move on to the next one. So, the next one will be now a 3D. So, it will just be the same. So, what will happen here is we'll have um, x2, y2, and z2. Okay. 
So this will be the first coordinate. So that is um, 3, negative 2, and then 1. And then we also have x1, y1, and uh, sorry, z1. Z1. And this will become, I know, this is 2, 4, and then negative 2. Okay. So to up, uh, just apply the formula in 3D. So this will become uh, 3 minus 2 squared plus uh, negative 2 minus 4 squared plus 1. So minus minus, right? So this is negative, right? So negative negative, it will become now plus squared. Okay. So if you will enter that in your calc, you will have here uh, 1 squared plus 6. 6 squared plus 3. Answer is 6.78. You can also try this one in your calculus. Okay, so that's it for this uh, topic, distance between two points. So let's move on to the next topic.